guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today's video is so exciting because it is for all the book lovers out there. Before we get started, I would love to ask you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. I am so close to 400 thousand subscribers. We're like nearly there. Carla, do you remember when I had zero? Two, three years later, we're almost at 400K. So please subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean so much to me. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's get makeovering. Let's get started. So today I'm helping out my friend Danielle. We used to work at a magazine together. She is a journalist, an award-winning journalist in fact. And she recently bought a home with her partner and this is her office space. So you can see it's pretty blank, but the main thing I'm gonna be doing in this space is putting all of her beautiful books on display. Danielle is kind of bursting at the seams when it comes to books. She's got three Billy bookcases behind her desk and they're overflowing with books. She's got this desk, which is in really great condition. She just bought this desk. This dining chair, which is wood, she said she's written some of her best articles sitting in this chair. I don't really understand how. It looks pretty uncomfortable, so I feel like we have to step it up a notch. You'll also notice that there's no curtains on the windows, there's no blinds. This room doesn't get a ton of light, so I really need to be conscious about what I put on the window. I have been like yearning to turn a room into a library. So that is what we are going to do today. I wanna do a vintage inspired rug on the floor. This room is just calling for a rug. If we're making it into a cozy library slash office, a rug is a necessity. For the window, I don't wanna do blinds. I think I wanna do curtains to add lots of texture. The key here though, is that these blinds are gonna be open realistically most of the time because Danielle needs as much light as she can get in this tiny room. To solve that, I think I'm gonna get some curtain tie backs. I found these ones, they're so fun. They're shaped like hands. They're just a bit different. They're like a bit statement. For the books, I am thinking of doing some sort of track shelving, similar to the track shelving we used in the pantry makeover we just did. If you guys missed that episode, I'll link it up here. The beauty of track shelving is that you can really customize it. And because Danielle has so many books, I really wanna be able to pick, you know, the right amount of shelves that I need. I will also say that in a library, you know, leaning bookshelves against the wall or those shelves that attach to the wall that kind of look like ladders, those are beautiful, but but the reality is they are so expensive. Danielle has almost 800 plus books and growing. So I know that I need something that's budget friendly and something I can customize. For the light, I'm thinking something soft, but statement. I have this pendant light in my bedroom. It's from Hey Design, super budget friendly. Because this room is so small, I have to be careful with the size of this light and like the statement it makes. So I feel like this is like a soft statement. Statement piece, but make it soft. Okay, so that's my mood board. It's time to order all of the products and head into prep day. Hi guys, so it is day one prepping Danielle's space. I'm really excited. Danielle has cleared out all the books for us ahead of time, which was super helpful. I didn't want to like mess up her organization strategy when it came to her books. So the old Billy bookcases are here. She is going to sell those. So we're gonna move those out of the room, but this is what the room looks like without the books. We got the old light up there, the bookshelves, this desk is staying, but we're replacing the chair. I brought this chair in. I've actually brought two chairs, but this is one of them. And I just love how like retro it is. This is all our makeover stuff. Yeah, so it truly is a blank slate. Danielle is feeling a bit nervous about giving up <laughs> control um, of the makeover, which is, I completely understand. It makes me just like, want to make this so good for her. So she's totally shocked and surprised and obviously happy with the result. So we are just going to start unboxing all of the products we've ordered. We're going to do kind of like a mock layout, just make sure we have everything we need. And then in the afternoon, Graham is coming to help us hang all the new bookshelves. So we're going to do bookshelves along here and along here. 
Danielle just painted this room an off-white beigey color. It actually has undertones of pink in it. I'm gonna leave it as is. We had talked about painting the whole room a dark blue color, like a royal blue, cozy and library-esque, but Danielle was like, I'm not comfortable with painting it dark because this room really doesn't get a lot of light. I actually think the room was blue before when she moved in and then she painted it this color. So I'm not gonna be doing any painting for this makeover. We're gonna keep the color as is. I ordered two lights, one large, one medium. They're rice paper shades. These are the lights that I have in my bedroom. I'm definitely thinking the larger one is probably gonna make more of a statement, but this room's also really small. So we're just, we're gonna have to try them both when Graham arrives. This is the rug. These are curtain tie backs. Wow. We planned these makeovers so far in advance that I forget. And I'm like, I see pom-poms. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, they're so cute. And they're nice and sheer, so they'll still let some of the light in. Are you guys ready to take these downstairs? Yes, we are. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, it's usually crickets, so I'm really glad that you guys answered. I was like, who's she talking to in our room? It's me. It's not gonna be. It's you. Whenever there's a Philly bookcase anywhere, I always think about my first video, my first YouTube video I ever did, if you're an OG subscriber, but not even an OG subscriber, like an OG watcher, I was just like, how? <laughs> I'm Alexandra. And what I love to do is make spaces look really beautiful without spending a lot of time or money. What I love to do is make spaces look beautiful without spending a lot of time or money. Okay, Graham's here. <laughs> and we are gonna change the light first and then get these bookshelves out of here and start installing the floating shelves. So I have decided to go with track shelving. And as I mentioned, this was the most budget friendly option. I think anyone's dream in a library office space would be to have like walnut bookcases, maybe a ladder, like, you know, dream big. But we are doing this on a budget. And as always, I wanna give you guys like easy and affordable and attainable solutions. Another thing I considered doing was using Billy bookcases and doing a built-in hack kind of look. DIY Danny just did this in her office and they look amazing, but this really wasn't the look we were going for. Danielle and I talked about doing a more industrial looking track shelving. So this was the best bet and I think it's gonna work out. Thanks. Whoa, this room suddenly feels so empty and echoey. Echo. I'm an idiot. Okay, you ready to bring all the shelves up? We got the bracket. We've got a video of the brackets. <laughs> we got the tracks. We're installing the shelves and we realized during the process that we can actually drill the tracks right into the stud. So we're foregoing that upper bracket. I feel like this is gonna make the shelves look cleaner. It's also gonna be way more secure because the tracks are going right into the studs. Make sure you're only making these like game time decisions and not following the IKEA instructions if you have someone who's knowledgeable enough to make those calls, please. I don't want you guys like tossing away the IKEA instructions. You need those. In this case, Graham is like super knowledgeable about anything contractor related. So he was fine to make this call. We've decided that we're gonna keep all the shelves flush side by side, which means that there's just enough room to put one here so it's an L shape, so it like wraps around the wall. I used the IKEA planning tool, so I knew exactly what I needed. They give you like a shopping list and I could visualize it. I am gonna offset a couple shelves on this wall. I think it'll look really visually interesting, but for the most part, the shelves will all be just like straight to across the wall. One thing I will mention is that even though this room is quite small and Danielle has standard ceiling height, the Billy bookcases still came in quite low on the wall. So she was missing all of that vertical space. She was just like piling books on top of each other on top of the Billy bookcases. So the track shelving also solves that because you can really maximize your vertical wall space and there's gonna be space underneath to store books as well. I can't help but decorate before anything's even on the wall. <laughs> there was a moment where I was like, are the shelves too deep? I think you're possibly the worst singer in the world. But 
I think it's really gonna work. And you're gonna walk in and just be surrounded by books and it's gonna feel cozy and warm and inviting and that's what Danielle wanted. This is what we're working with. So it's, it really does go like floor to ceiling. All the tracks are up. We're gonna tackle putting the shelves up tomorrow, but it's looking so good. Graham will be leaving us. <laughs> That's me. Sadly, but we'll be back tomorrow for makeover day. There's a few panicked moments today, but we figured it out and it's gonna look great. It's day two. I woke up this morning and I was really excited, but I was still kind of nervous with the depth of those shelves. I should just probably let it go, but these are the things I think about at four in the morning. So we hung all the tracks for the shelving, put some of the shelves up, got the brackets in, hung the curtain rod. There is a cicada that's like, wants to say hi. And Graham wired the light to the ceiling, so it just needs a shade. Now it's just time to bring it all together. The first thing I'm gonna do today is get the remaining shelves up. Let's do it. Okay, so now that we're done hanging all of the shelves on the brackets, I'm gonna hang some curtains. One of the most like glaring things I noticed when I walked into this room is that this window didn't have curtains. And I always feel like a room feels unfinished if it doesn't have curtains or blinds. So we hung the curtain rod yesterday. Got these, they're pom-poms. Look, I'm wearing the curtains. The curtains copied my outfit. The curtains also churn butter than my spirits up. Right, 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 right. <laughs> They're a little bit see-through, so they're textured, but they still let the light in, which is great. So cute. I want these in my house. What's even cuter are these curtain tie backs. I'm so excited. I don't ever really use curtain tie backs, but the idea is that these curtains are gonna stay open, so Danielle gets lots of light when she's working. Wow, just call me a master of tools. <laughs> wow. So fun. Using a Sharpie and just literally coloring over the screw. This is where we're gonna enter that nobody's gonna know meme. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. Okay, lights going up. Woo! Oh, so good. It's rug time. I love the color of this rug. It has purple in it, some orange, some green. It's muted and neutral, but still has that pop of color and pattern that I love. This has a nice grippy back, so it's gonna stay on the floor without a rug pad. There's a couple shelves that I didn't hang on purpose because I was like, oh, that could be a cute reading nook if we don't hang two more shelves. That means Danielle's gonna lose book storage, but we have so much book storage that I think it'll be enough for her. And then I'm placing this beautiful vintage find. I can't believe I found this. It's gorgeous, it's so retro. I'm thinking this will be like where the reading nook is. Even though it's plastic, these chairs are so comfortable. I've owned a lot in my lifetime. It's from StruckTube, under $100. Okay, I haven't seen what this looks like, but my first thought is Danielle will have a really nice Zoom background. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You can pretend to type like you always do. What are your thoughts? Okay, it's AA approved. Bam. Do you feel special that you and Noah have you're the only two that have approved stickers so far. Yeah, you are special. Approved. You're not special, so you're never getting one. I, it's gonna be an X. It's just gonna be like a not approved. On literally everything. Okay, loving this layout. I'm really glad I didn't hang those shelves because I kind of had the, the, what's the, what am I looking for? I thought ahead. I planned ahead. Let's get some books on these shelves. <sighs> Danielle had taken the books out for us, which is great. And she kept them organized in stacks. So we kept them organized within these stacks that she had already left for us. So don't worry, any book lovers out there, we've organized these in the way that Danielle wants them to be organized. Whenever I've put out book content, like on Instagram, or I, when I worked at Chatelaine, we did a whole book package, like how to display your books. There are some opinions, people. There are some opinions about how you organize your books. I would love for you guys to just start chatting down below. How do you organize your books? What works for you? 
start a conversation because I know that people are gonna have opinions about this. So as you can see, we still have some books to put on shelves. We're gonna hang a couple more shelves where there's gaps just because we need more storage. But like, look at all these books and look at how it just like fills the room. These books are amazing. I intentionally left a gap here because I knew I wanted to do something decorative. And now I'm extra happy that I've left that gap because this is gonna be her Zoom background. So it'll be nice to have like a couple art prints, a candle or something. So I'm gonna decorate that. There's space behind these shelves, so I'm gonna put the cord behind the shelves, and then it goes behind the chair. Oh, it's just so cozy in here, I can't. I'm really glad we have the extra space because it allows me to add little plants, decorative items in front of the books. It just adds dimension to these shelves. Look, this is this is this was me writing to you. I wrote this for you. <laughs> Not one of these poems is about you. AKA every poem. Because you because you don't deserve any of these poems, Carla. Showing you nothing but love and support. I bet you think this poem is about you, don't you? I should probably tell you guys what I'm doing. I'm hanging a photo. It's not a photo, it's a picture that Danielle already had. It's a New Yorker print, which is very fitting for this office. I know it's just gonna complete this space. So good, I have to say this is turning out better than I could have hoped. I was like, I was a little bit nervous, but it's, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. I say this every makeover, but I can't believe we're done. So I added those last few books to the shelves and I'm just gonna add a couple finishing touches. I have this desk lamp that I really like. There is a plug right beside the desk, so Danielle actually can use this, it's functional. To make this room look really pretty though in the afters, I'm gonna hide the cord, but rest assured, there is an outlet that she can plug it into. I'm also gonna add a couple of notebooks to her desk, some nice hand cream that she had here before, and this plant. I'm really happy with how this came together. It's cozy, it's warm, and I feel like everything in this space just lets the books do the talking, you know? Or the reading? No, that was a really bad joke. So, let's bring her in. Keep looking down, keep looking down. I want you to picture what your office looked like before. Yes. Three Billy bookcases, <laughs> a desk, that was about it, that was right? It. That was it. <laughs> I am so thrilled that I got to do this for you. Okay, one, two, three. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. It looks incredible. Doesn't it feel like a library? <laughs> so nice. It looks fantastic. I'm really, Thank you so much. My pleasure. I am thrilled with how this makeover turned out. She texted me a few hours after this reveal and said, I just wanna thank you again. I love my space. And she ended her text by saying, I'm so happy I get to work here every day. 
As always, I will see you guys next week. Actually, I'm seeing you in two weeks. That's because I am putting out my kitchen makeover. It is a massive makeover, so we need a bit more time to get this video in perfect condition for you guys. But make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that going live. Okay, that was a lot of rambling at the end. Thank you guys for watching. See you very soon.